Today, we're talking about small but critical pieces used in most oil and gas controlled equipment. Diaphragms, seats, seals, and O-rings all play an important role in control valves, regulators, and temperature controllers. They're made from different types of rubber materials called elastomers. You also hear them called soft goods or rubber goods. Each material is designed to perform best under certain conditions. While elastomer wear is inevitable, by selecting the correct material you can run production longer before the elastomers require replacement. So, how do you know what to select? In this video, we'll look at three important questions to ask when selecting your oil and gas elastomers, as well as four primary elastomer materials that Kimray offers in our products. In addition to this video, we've put together a reference guide for our primary elastomer options with wear resistance, properties, and product availability. You can download this from our training and demos page at kimray.com or follow the link below. Let's get started. One thing to note first is that there is a lot of variability within elastomers depending on which product you are using. This guide is for general reference purposes and intended to provide basic terminology. Even with this information, you're likely still going to want to speak with a Kimray representative to select the appropriate elastomers for your product. To determine which elastomer to select for a given application, there are three primary data points needed. First is operating temperature. This one is straightforward. What is the temperature of the liquid or gas flowing through your production process, specifically the temperature the elastomer will be exposed to? This is the first point you can use to narrow your selection. Production running at a maximum temperature of 425 degrees Fahrenheit may be limited to a single elastomer option. However, based on temperature alone, a 200 degree Fahrenheit operating temperature could still use any of these options. The second data point needed is the level of potential corrosion. Corrosion in oil and gas production occurs when acid gases such as H2S and CO2 and chemicals contribute to the elastomer and metal deterioration of the production equipment and controllers. Though elastomers cannot corrode, when their integrity is compromised, it can cause improper valve function or even total valve failure. This is why the selection of elastomers is so important. When you're dealing with corrosive conditions, you'll need to consider important resistance rating categories like CO2, H2S, and methanol. Some are clear, such as using HSN for high levels of methanol or AFLAS for high H2S presence, while others like CO2 have similar resistance across each elastomer. The third factor is the level of potential wear, or erosion. One cause for elastomer erosion is high levels of actuation. This could be from something like a high producing well where your control valves need to actuate multiple times per minute to control the flow. The main cause of elastomer erosion, however, is when abrasives such as sand or other solids are in the flow stream. Sand will quickly wear out internal components and cause further damage to equipment. This is another reason why elastomer selection is so key to production. If you are experiencing recurring issues with your elastomers, for example, you are replacing the elastomers in your valves more than once a month, you probably need to use different materials. Kimberly has narrowed down our options to help make the selection easier. There are some components within products that have further options, but these four materials are the primary considerations. Nitrile is a synthetic rubber commonly used in elastomers. It's also known as Buna, N, or just Buna, which is a common name for all classes of nitrile. It's good for most applications with a typical amount of wear and corrosive elements present in the production flow. No matter which kit or selections you make, many elastomers across our product lines will likely have some components made of nitrile. Highly saturated nitrile, or HSN, is a special class of nitrile with more chemical resistance, thermal stability, and greater tensile strength. It's resistant to petroleum oils, ATF, sour gas, amine oil mixtures, oxidized fuels, lubricating oils, CO2, and low levels of H2S. Another advantage of HSN is its excellent resistance to methanol. FKM is the ASTM short form name for fluoroelastomer. Kimray uses Viton, which is a registered trademark of the manufacturer, but also widely used for the material in general. Viton is a great option primarily for higher operating temperatures. 
However, with those high temperatures, you'll also need to avoid hot water or steam applications as the material will quickly break apart under those conditions. Aflast is the trade name for a unique fluoroelastomer that is highly resistant to a wide range of chemicals such as acids, strong bases, amines, and steam. With outstanding heat resistance and excellent electrical insulation properties, Aflast has significant advantages but is proportionally more costly. It's targeted at special applications such as high levels of H2S and high temperatures in amine plants. Here are some examples of the ideal elastomer materials in specific conditions. You can download this from our training and demos page at kimray.com or follow the link below. Contact your local Kimray store or authorized distributor to speak with an expert about which elastomer material is right for your conditions.